Good morning, YouTube. This is DMM895 here. And this is my um, The Diatomaceous Earth Test update. Well, of course, yesterday, after I put it down here on the slate, The Diatomaceous Earth, of course it rained. <laughs> Way to go, but no, I'm not complaining about the rain because our garden could use it. It's way over there, and it's very weedy, but um, I will get to that as soon as it dries up a little bit. Um, anyway, get back here to the ants on the slate. See, they're still here. It seems that my diatomaceous earth has made little mounds. <laughs> But as soon as this dries up, I'm thinking that it will help to eliminate them. If not, obviously, like I said, I am going to have to revert to poison, which I'm still going to try a few more things first, though. So This is uh, the test update from yesterday's video on the diatomaceous earth. And as you can see, there's still little ants riding, running around on here, but it was wet, so... As you know, diatomaceous earth does not work when it's wet because it acts like little razors and cuts them up. I know that sounds disgusting, but that's how it works, sadly. And it works on ticks and fleas and ants and things of that nature. I'm trying to see if you can get a good look at it without moving too much. I move a lot and I'm sorry if it bothers anyone. But, so this is the update on the diatomaceous earth. What I'm going to do is wait a couple days and then I'm going to, you know, it should be dried out by then. Then I'm going to apply it again. Peace and love, YouTube. Take care.